Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish, and I'm reviewing the market calls in the last two weeks. And why? Because there was a lot, a lot, a lot of calls in the market, and, and they all worked, which was amazing. So let's go over them. You can watch me on Fox Business and Fox News. You can also feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswish.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP. Follow me on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. So I don't know where you're at with everything. Um, are you trading right now? Do you know how to trade? Are you just thinking about getting into it? I do think that's something that you have to know where you are specifically with your trading. If you're brand new, that's fine too. A lot of people ask me, can you do this if you're a beginner? And the answer is yes, of course you can. And, and sometimes when you are new, it's better than being experienced because a lot of experienced people who say they're experienced are actually losing money in the market. They may know how to read a moving average, but they don't know how to make money. So I think it's great when people come to me and they don't know anything because they learn from the ground up. A strategy is very important to make money in the market. And, you know, there's all kinds of different things you can do. I mean, but I mean, I'll, I mean, I wouldn't do a majority of them, to be honest with you. For example, penny stocks to me are absolute crap. I would never trade a penny stock with a 10-foot pole, but I mean, people do them, let alone stocks that are worth a dollar, and yet people do them. Sometimes they call them pump and dumps. I just think those things are ridiculous. When I'm looking to take a position or I'm even analyzing anything, if I even rate it, if it's even on my watch list, it's a stock and it's a company that you probably have heard of before. Starbucks, Amazon, Google, Facebook, you you know these things. They're, you're familiar with them. They're real to you and they trade with volume. And, and that's what my strategy is based on. It's based on stocks that are traded by institutional money in the market. So how can you make money? Consistency, all right, the consistency and also having a good strategy, and then obviously money management, which I think is 101. Although I found some people are not aware of that, it is part of the class that I teach. Anyways, if you wanna learn how to day trade, you can be anywhere in the world. And that's a nice, convenient thing about this. You don't have to be in the US. You don't have to work down in Wall Street. You don't even have to leave your house, quite frankly. You can day trade and you can live anywhere in the world but you do have to be focused and you do have to have a focus daily and you do have to kind of block out the world in the period of time that you trade and you have to have conviction and you have to have a strategy. And not only that, it has to work. Okay, you can have a strategy and if it's, it's based on something ridiculous and it doesn't make you any money on a regular basis, then it's worthless. Okay, you have to focus on the right things. So it is my belief system and I've proven this to myself and also my students over the course of the last 10 plus years, that one strategy is all you really need to be successful in the market. You do not need a general overall broad-based view to make money. I mean, there's a lot of people that know a lot about a lot of different things, GDP and this report and that report, and yet they don't make any money. So at the end of the day, I'd rather make money. And so that means what? Uh, you got to know how to make money, quite frankly. A lot of people know a lot of information that doesn't do them any good and they are not wealthy. So tons of people know a lot and fail in trades all the time. You have to learn how to read institutional money and price patterns and gaps and you don't need anything else to do this. And why? Because institutional money controls the market. You'll learn this more, as I said in the class. Uh, but if your reason for doing this, which should be to create profit, um, if that's your reason, then uh, you really have to be very focused. So I read price. I read price action and gaps. It's something very specific. The way that I read the gaps is specific. There are people out there that teach about gaps. They teach things incorrectly or the opposite or just in a very different manner than I do. So I created my own system. That's why I defined it and termed it and coined it the golden gap. I see movements ahead of time and charts the gap and it's called price forecasting. That's exactly how I call the market. And uh, you can go back and look at my YouTube videos back from the whole last year, but particularly December. I have a clip from December where I put uh, information that I said before the rally that the market had in December that we have the New Year's Eve rally, which we did. And I forecast what the next price movement is going to be. And it's because of read gaps. So that's where I get the confidence and the conviction to do such. 
So what is price forecasting? Forecasting is the use of historic data to determine the direction of future trends. Businesses utilize forecasting to determine how to allocate their budgets or plans for the anticipated expenses for an upcoming period of time. Okay, so if you had a business, you would forecast, well, you're gonna spend this much money this month. And actually, if you don't have a business and you are just take care of your own household expenses, you take the amount of money that you make and you say, okay, we can afford this. And you minus out your car payment, your utilities, your housing, which is your rent or your mortgage, food, uh, cell phone bill, and you and you manage all these things and you forecast what you have left over the month to maybe spend on luxury items, clothing, going out, entertainment, whatever. But you have to have a plan. It's called a business plan when you're doing this. And that's really how I look at the market. I say, well, this is a plan. The plan is that it looks like it's going to go here. Now, what does that mean? It means high odds. High odds it's going to go there. It's not a guarantee, but it means everything is setting up that it looks pretty good. High odds. Okay, that's forecasting. So I'm price forecasting how, looking at gaps, which tells me what? The institutional money that's coming into a chart. Now this was a beautiful call uh, that I had on the 21st where I called this by 285, 329. These are all the calls I made in the market just in the last two weeks. This worked. If you had an advanced risk, you could have made $3,600. Now what if you only took six contracts? You could have made 360 bucks. Still a very nice trade. Then again, the 282, what? This was actually probably one of the most phenomenal ones that I've called here, with the exception of the one that's currently in play right now. 282 calls, gapped up on the Monday. And again, we're up tonight, so this, this could play out to be something similar already. Dollar ninety cost, 30 contracts, which is an advanced risk, 5,700 risk, 6.4 sold price, but this went well over that. Uh, ran up really into the last day, 13,500. Again, an advanced risk return investment, 237%. So these are all the trades in the last two weeks I called in the market. And again, how did I know how to forecast this market in this way? Because of my gap analysis, okay? Rated the gap in the morning, in the pre-market, or at night. Like I could rate the gap tonight, I haven't done it yet. And why? Because usually I like to do it in the morning and it changes sometime from night to morning. But, I mean, I can tell right now if we open here, this will be good. Anyways, the next one was buy the Q call, strike 180. Another nice one. Could have made 7,800 bucks. That ran. Ran like the Dickens. Um, really nice. 130% return investment. Here was the chart. And again, you're looking here. This is the drop off. And then this is where I called the trade here on the 29th. Gapped up. This is Friday, Monday. Boop. Took off like a rocket. Really nice move, and again, we're up again tonight. And then I called the 285s, 4.5. Again, nice move here, 4,800, you could have made advanced risk. Again, similar thing, boop, boop. I mean, look at how this market is gone. And again, I'm reading the gaps. This was a gap up from Friday to Monday, took off. And then we did some day trades. So I wanted to stick these in here too, because if you had traded the market alone and nothing else, and when I say the market, I mean the SPY and the Qs, although you could have done the diamonds, but it wasn't as good of a play as the Qs and the SPY, which are the market ETFs. We did day trades Monday. We could have made 800 bucks. It was an early exit. Ran up like crazy on that day though. You could have made way more. Uh, and I just want to show you this here. This was the first. Look where this ended up going. It was nuts. Went over 286. Okay. I was on TV. I had to handle that way earlier in the day, but that ran up another dollar. Then Tuesday, this is the QQQs. You could have made 1320 and advanced risk. And again, I'm showing this here. This is Monday. This is Tuesday. Not that big of a move, but a nice just rally. Okay. So again, you're looking to just get the lift. And this is a 15 minute chart, but again, I wanna show you how the market rallied on Tuesday. Wednesday, another beautiful move in both the Qs and the SPY, the biggest move in, in the week, except for the gap up that happened from Friday to Monday. So this is the Qs again here. Here's where we gapped up, then it went to like that. Beautiful rally. And this is what I call the money move. Then the SPY, again, another really nice trade. 
And again, this was the same day as the cues. It went right straight up. Really nice move. That was Wednesday. So in two weeks of trades, this is options trades and day trades. You could have made a total in the SPY and the cues in just the market calls I made. It didn't do anything else but the calls I gave in the market. And this is, this is, I'm saying this for the people that are in the room and on the options letter, or if you're thinking about doing this, I, I have read the market so well that you could literally just do nothing else but the trades I call in the market. And every trade has worked that I've been calling. So that is something here to take note of. Every trade that I've called in the market in the last two weeks has been profitable, and that is phenomenal. I am very focused. This market is challenging. It has been challenging. So I'm even more focused and I'm telling you, the focus helps me and it will help you too. If you wanna make a lot of money, you have to be focused. You can't be like willy nilly. You can't be one minute feeling like this, one minute feeling like that. One minute you wanna trade, the next minute you don't. One minute you wanna do it, then you're not sure. You have to be totally present in the moment, reading what's happening in live time, okay? So in two weeks, you could have made $38,420. That's amazing. And how could you have done it? One, getting my calls. Two, learning the system yourself. It's a 26-point checklist that I use to rate the market daily and any stocks that we happen to look at, which again are not penny stocks. They're not dirt cheap. They're normal stocks. People ask me, what experience do you need and how long does it take to learn? Um, you know, it'll take as long as you take. You do the class. The class is two days. It's 16 hours, but then... You may have a learning curve. I found that people are all over the place. Some people pick it up right away after the class. Some people take some time because they're new or they've learned and traded before and they have bad habits. You gotta get over those bad habits. But either way, I'm telling you, if you are focused, you can do it. If you learn my method anyways. Now, what if you are working full time? What if you don't have more than the weekend to devote to doing this well you can do the options trades you know then do the options if you can't be in the room monday through friday 8 30 to you know 11 a.m and then do the options trades okay do swing trades use it for your long-term investing there's lots of things you can do with it so if you want to learn my method it's a class i teach it once a month you learn the 26 point checklist measures gaps by writing them in a daily chart to find stocks to trade that have, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day. Number two, a big move in the day. Number three, early confirmation of the bias and the move between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Eastern time. And number four, precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward target potential. So how do you make this much money versus this much money? It has to do with the amount of your risk and that has to be quantified based on the size of your account and your cash size. So I say be consistent with your risk if you have questions about this, ask me, and I will help you. If you'd like more information, again, email me at melissa at thestockswitch.com. The next class is coming up next weekend. So I teach a class. It's called the Golden Gap Course. It's April 13th and 14th from 9 to 5 Eastern Time. The cost of the class is $59.99 U.S. dollars. Class is online. It can be anywhere in the world and take it. I also have the Trends Course on the 15th. You save money if you sign up for both. $64.99 in the savings. Class is online. Again, if you want to sign up, email me at melissa.thestockswish.com. Have a great, great week, everyone. Think about what I said. Be positive. Stay on track. Earning season in this week. And be very careful if you trade the market. Be careful if you trade the market. Be careful if you trade futures. And you better know what you're doing in this market. Good luck, everyone. And reach out if you'd like more information.